This is my second video. We're going to look to upgrade my little solar setup. We're going to upgrade from a PWM charge controller to an MPPT charge controller. I'm going to change from our modified sine wave to a pure sine wave inverter. And we've got the 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. And we've got MC4 cables coming from our solar panels. Here's the specs from the two 150 watt panels. I did have these panels in parallel, which involves connecting the positive wires together and then the negative wires together by using these branch connectors. Now I'm removing the branch connectors and I'm going to connect these panels in series. First let's have a look at connecting up the MPPT charge controller. This is made by Victron Energy. This allows us to have up to 100 volts and 30 amps. As you see the 130 on the front. And as you can see underneath we have nice big terminals which will connect our positive and negative wire of the battery on the left hand side and our solar panels connected on the right hand side. You will need a Bluetooth dongle if it doesn't have a Bluetooth symbol on the front of the unit. Here you can see the difference in size from the PWM to the MPPT. Now I mounted the MPPT charge controller, connected up the battery, then connected up the solar panels. And when working on, I leave the positive breakers open. And make sure you have your solar panels disconnected when working on. Now I'm connecting my two panels in series. In series it will add up the volts, and parallel will add up the amps. I could keep this in parallel, but I'm going to see if I get a better result in series. For my charge controller, as it didn't have built-in Bluetooth, I needed this Bluetooth dongle, which I plug into the charge controller from this port, which allows me to see the volts and amps and battery life via the app, which we'll download in a moment. If you buy the charge controller with the built-in Bluetooth, you won't need the dongle, but you'll still access the same app. This is the Victron Connect app. My device shows up first time, which I can connect to via Bluetooth. Here you can see your watts, volts and amps, and your battery status. From this information, I can see my solar panels need to be moved to a better position. Here we're going to add in a pure sine wave inverter, which also comes with a 3 meter remote and some power cables. This will convert the DC current to AC, which will allow us to power on our household appliances. This inverter allows you to use up to 2000 watts. And here you can see the difference in size. The remote that we plug into our inverter using this 3 meter cable allows us to have the switch in a more convenient location. So we can have the remote switch mounted to a wall where it's easier to access. And if you leave the inverter on, it'll be using up your battery, so I'll make sure I turn it off after use. My next step will be to add more of the same solar panels and put them in a better location to get more out of the panels. And here I have battery terminal covers and I've connected breakers to all the positive cables. Thanks for watching, I'll leave links and information in the description below. Welcome to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.